Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the different ways that we can customize and change our color bar template inside of Control X. So you can see here, um, this is the color bar that I'm going to be recreating today. Uh, it's a little bit strange, but I designed it to be more of a tool for demonstrating the different ways in which we can mess with it rather than being a realistic example. So we'll keep this in mind um, as I'm recreating it. So if we want to access our existing color bar templates, we'll have to come into the Tools ribbon here and click on this icon. This will bring up the default uh, existing color bar templates that come with Control X. In this case, I'm going to want to create a new one, so I'm going to click Add. We have the option of giving it a name. I'll call it Demo Bar. Click OK. And you can see now we have a new template here listed that just populates with the default color bar we're used to seeing. So I'm going to want to change that, so I'm going to click Edit Template. This brings up our editing window um, where we can start making changes. The first change I'm going to do is I want to delete the lower half of the color bar here. So I'm going to right click and say Delete. I also want to change it so that this value is zero. This way any value less than zero is going to be assigned to this color. Uh, in this case, I don't want it to be a dark blue, I want it to be a light blue. So I just double click on that. And we can change the color either by moving uh, our kind of square point around our color wheel, or if you want to, you can dial in a specific RGB or HSB value. So that looks about right. So I'm gonna exit out of that. And now what I wanna do is change this co color bar slightly so that it has a slightly different color range. So you can see now we have two different points and it is automatically going to interpolate the colors between those points based on the number of colors selected here. So that's going to define the number of segments. So we could change that number to 5 and we would see fewer or we could change it to 15 and see more. In this case I'm going to stick with 10. I do want to point out that we have the option of reversing the direction if needed. We're going to keep it this way for now. And once again, the start point or the end point can be defined by just moving it in the color wheel or dialing in a specific value. In this case, I want the, the color to go a little bit more into the purple range. Okay, and we'll still start with the yellow. That looks about right. Let's move that. Okay. So we'll exit out of this. Now what I want to do is add in this smaller segment between point 1 and 1 uh, as the purple color. So to do that, I'm going to split this twice. This is going to divide it into two different sections. And this section we can make purple. Okay, and now I want to move this higher up on the color bar, and to do that, I'm going to split this subsection again into four smaller pieces, and then remove some of those pieces. Now we've effectively moved this point higher on the bar, and I'm going to make this point equal to 0.1. Hit OK. And the final step is just to change our color for anything above one millimeter. And to do that, instead of using the color wheel, I'll just use this grayscale uh, picker here because I, I just want it to be black. But either way works. And click OK. Now we can exit out of this as well because we've achieved the color bar that we were looking for. It is worth noting that if I wanted to, I could set this template as the default template if I wanted it to be automatically applied uh, whenever I create a comparison entity. In this case, that's not what I want, so I'm just going to click OK. Now I'll go ahead and add a 3D compare. Go to the second stage. And here is where I'm going to be able to select that template that I created previously. And you can see it is applied now. It looks a little strange because I didn't create it to be realistic. It was just a demonstration, but 
that shows the process for creating and customizing your own color bar in Control-X.